Howdy, I'm Sadie Mae with The Awesome Orange, and I've got a question for you. What do you get when you take four makers, three carving burrs, two weeks, and one challenge? Four awesome builds. A big thank you to Sabretooth for sponsoring this video. I am so excited to be back for round three of the We Make Sawdust Challenge. The participants have been selected, the challenge boxes have been sent out, and these are the three burrs we get to carve with. The first one is a 1 8 inch shank, quarter inch bud burr, an extra fine grit, or a white whisper bit. The second one's an 8 inch shank, cylinder, safe, and burr, in fine grit, or yellow. And the last one is a 1 8 inch shank, Sphere burr or 3 8 inch sphere burr and coarse grit or green. The possibilities are just endless with the different types of textures that you can create with these burrs. And the challenge is to carve or build something you can hang on the wall or wall art. All right, at first I'm gonna show you my complete build process of my wall art, and then I'm gonna give you a highlight of each of the other makers' pieces. And then you have to stick around until the end because I'm gonna be announcing right here the winner of the round three of the We Make Sawdust Challenge. I found this popular panel just sitting in my shop, maybe for an old cutting board or something. So I decided to clean it up and use it for my wall art. Once I had it cleaned up, I added some masking tape and took it over to my laser. I did end up having to take out the crumb tray because it was just a little too thick to fit. Once I got the height where I thought it was gonna be good, I just measured to make sure everything was gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm still new to this whole laser thing, but I am learning a ton and can't wait to create so many more pieces. And when my design was all set up, it was time to engrave. All right guys, I got it off the laser. This is what it is. It, um, the layout was a little messed up, so I'm gonna have to trim those. But let's take this tape off and see how that carve came out. Well, the carve came out awesome. Super crisp lines and just looked so pretty. All right, this is what it looks like before texture and after I trimmed it up. Now it's time to start carving. Carving, you have to have all your protection on and I've got the vacuum set up to try to get all the dust from one side and then my dust collection with the scoop on the other. There's still a ton of dust, but this is definitely gonna help. And I decided to go with the Sabretooth 1 8 inch shank, 3 quarter inch sphere burr in coarse grit to do my texture. I'm basically just gonna be doing a dimple texture, kind of deep. Um, you just start with one circle and kind of mush them together. And you do wanna come at it, I like to, from different angles. You'll see how with the grain, you can control the lines that are inside the bubbles. What are you guys thinking of this texture so far? I'm absolutely loving it. And I think I like carving in the dark with this light. You can really see the depth and the texture as you're going along and you get a really cool feel for what you're carving. Carving is done, looks so good. Now for the not so fun part, doing a little bit of sanding. But I did find these little like scotch bright abrasive wheels that really help clean up all the little flyaway fibers that you can see there. And we 
sanding done, I thought this piece could use a little pop of color or orange. So I colored painted in the heart as well as the border trim orange. Absolutely love it. The last step was to add some finish. I'm using Total Boat's Wood Honey. It's a food safe finish and absorbs right into the piece and just brought out that gorgeous popular color. I love my new piece and can't wait to hang it up. All right, first up is a net with 513 Woodworks. Next up is Tracy with Jasper Trail Home. We have Christopher with Cricket Hat Woods. All right, everybody did an awesome job, but we can only have one winner. So drum roll, the winner is Christopher with Cricket Hat Woods. Congratulations, Christopher, and thank you to the other two participants for joining me on this challenge. If you guys wanna find out and see what Christopher and the other participants won, I'll leave a link to my blog in the description box below. Again, I wanna give a big thank you to Sabretooth for allowing me to host this challenge and to all of our other brand partners for making the prize packs awesome. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram so you know when the next challenge is and maybe we'll see you in the next We Make Sawdust Challenge. Until then, remember to build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day.